Phase one, for leaving the fridge open last night, I forgive you for conjuring white curtains instead of living your life. For the seedlings that wilt now in tiny pots, I forgive you. For saying no first, but yes, as an afterthought. I forgive you for hideous visions after childbirth brought on by loss of sleep. And when the baby woke repeatedly for your silent rebuke in the dark, what's your beef? I forgive you for letting vines overtake the garden, for fearing your own propensity to love, for losing again your bag and route from San Francisco, for the equally heedless drive back on the caffeine-fueled return. I forgive you for leaving windows open and rain and soaking library books again for putting forth only revisions of yourself with punctuation worked over. Instead of the disordered truth, I forgive you for singing mostly when the shower drowns your voice, for so admiring the drummer you failed to hear the drum. In forgotten tin cans, may forgiveness gather, pooling in gutters, gushing from pipes, a great steady rain of olives from branches, relieved of cruelty and petty meanness. With it, a flurry of wings, 13 gray pigeons, ointment reserved for healers and prophets. I forgive you, I forgive you, for feeling awkward and nervous without reason, for bearing Keats's empty vessel with such calm you worried you had perhaps no moral center at all. For treating your mother with contempt when she deserved compassion. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. For growing a capacity for love that is great, but matched only perhaps by your loneliness. For being unable to forgive yourself first so you could then forgive others and at last find a way to become the love that you want in this world.